question i am marking this question it is given a composite shaft consisting of solid brass rod 32 mm diameter is encased in a steel tube 50 mm external and 40 mm internal diameter is subjected to a torque of 1000 newton meter assume angle of twist for a given length of shaft is same calculate maximum shear stresses in steel and brass assume g for steel is twice that of brass now this is the question which we have whatever is given here i'll write this in the form of data it is given a composite shaft consisting of solid brass rod 32 mm diameter so the brass rod is solid and it is encased in a steel tube so the diagram would be like this this is a steel tube inside which we are having a brass rod this steel tube has external diameter 50 mm and the internal diameter is given that is 40 mm next inside it we are having a brass rod of 32 mm diameter so inside a steel tube we have a brass rod and the assembly would lo look like this next it is subjected to a torque of 1000 newton meter the torque value is given it is 1000 newton meter so i will convert this 1000 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm this much is the torque next assume angle of twist for a given length of shaft is same means theta value for brass and theta value for steel it is same mentioned for a given length of shaft is same calculate maximum stresses in steel and brass so the question is we have to calculate how much is the shear stress in steel and brass respectively so let us try to get the solution for this problem since they have given us the dimensions of steel and we can say brass uh, steel tube and brass rod i will first get the value of j that is the polar moment of inertia i'll say solution since polar moment of inertia for brass rod is given by j value since it is for brass i'll write it as j suffix b and it is solid so here i have pi by 32 d raised to 4 d raised to 4 brass is having diameter as 32 so the j value comes out to be 102.94 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 similarly i'll calculate polar moment of inertia for steel tube j is equal to it is for steel since steel is hollow so here i have pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 capital d is 50 and small d is 40 so therefore j for steel it is 362.26 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 so here i have j value for brass and steel now after this i'll use the condition which is given in the problem they are saying that angle of twist is same for both brass and steel so here i'll say that since 
angle of twist in brass is same as angle of twist in steel therefore now we, since we know that t by j is equal to g theta by l so therefore theta will be equal to t into l divided by gj so i'll use this relation for both brass and steel i'll write down instead of theta i'll write it as t into l upon gj for brass is equal to t into l upon gj for steel now therefore in the question it is mentioned that the length of the shaft is same and g values have been given so i'll write this as since i'm writing for brass so torque in brass will be equal to the length of brass and length of steel we can take it as same so that gets cancelled out in the denominator here i have g for brass and j value for brass we have calculated this was 102.94 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to the torque in steel divided by g for steel it is given it is in the question mentioned that the g for steel is twice that of g for brass so i'll write instead of g is twice of g suffix b into j value it was 362.26 into 10 raised to 3 here i can say that since length of brass is same as length of steel that is why they are cancelled out now gb and gb will get cancelled modulus of rigidity of brass from both the sides in other words here i will get the relation and that relation is t for steel is seven times that of brass means i am keeping t suffix s on the other side and shifting 362.26 into 10 raised to 3 onto the other side so here i have this relation i will call this as equation number one now in the question they have given that the total torque is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm so after this i will say that since total torque t is equal to torque in brass plus torque in steel since we have two different materials therefore capital t is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 instead of here i have instead of steel i'll write this as seven times of torque in brass this is from one equation number one therefore from this i will get the value of torque in brass that comes out to be 125 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm next i'll put this value in equation number one so therefore put tb is equal to 125 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm in equation 1 so therefore ts is 7 times of tb so 7 into 125 into 10 raised to 3 therefore torque in steel comes out to be 875 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm now once we know the torque values if we see in the question what was asked they are telling us to calculate the maximum shear stress in steel and brass so once we get the torque values in steel and brass we can easily calculate the value of shear stresses so here i'll say that from strength criteria we know that t by j is equal to fs by r therefore first i'll write for steel so here i have t suffix s and j suffix s therefore torque in steel it is 875 
into 10 raised to 3. J for steel we have already calculated. It was a steel tube. J value was 362.26 into 10 raised to 3. FS value is what we have to calculate. Radius. Since we have a steel tube, so radius would be the outer radius. Outer diameter is 50. So outer radius would be half of 50. So that is 25. From this, we would be getting the shear stress in steel and the answer comes out to be 60.38 Newton per millimeter square. I'll call this as my first answer. This same strength criteria, I will use it for brass also. That is, this was for steel. The same set of calculation for brass. T upon J is equal to Fs by R. I am writing for brass, so here I have B. TB it is 125 10 raised to 3. The value of J for brass, it was 102.94 10 raised to 3. R, brass rod was 32 mm in diameter so its radius is 16 so if I calculate from this I would be getting the shear stress in brass and my answer is 19.43 Newton per millimeter square this is my second answer so here they were saying to calculate the stresses shear stresses in steel and brass and we have both the values shear stress in steel is 60.38 Newton per millimeter square Shear stress in brass is 19.43 Newton per mm square. With this, we complete this question.